I've been doing some modelling of the lifting machine which Professor Mac is going to be using in his next video and I thought you'd like to have a look. Last time I was showing it, it didn't have the cab with Professor Mac in it and it didn't have this big contraption at the end of the arm um, and I've added these and we can have a look. So let's look here in at Professor Mac who's sitting in a cab where he will be able to drive the machine, move it around the area that he's working in and also be able to control the arms and the thing at the end here which is a spreader it's called to pick up uh, shipping containers. Let's have a look inside the cab, a bit closer look. And I'm going to move to a slightly different mode so that you can see all the details of the dash. So there we have the dashboard. Um, I've got on here a um, speedometer. It's not moving at the moment, so it's uh, reading zero miles per hour. The engine is ticking over, uh, so there's some revs on there. It's got a battery meter there and I'm assuming this vehicle is a hybrid vehicle so battery is going to be important. It's also got fuel and some digital readouts of uh, information related to the health of the machine. It's due for a service in uh, 311 hours. Um, there's also a steering wheel for Professor Mac to use, uh, a knob there for him to quickly spin the wheel as he's moving the vehicle. Um, and on the uh, console here we've got gears, a, sh a gear shift, so front and reverse and also some uh, gear selecting here, um, it can be this automatic gearbox at the moment. Um, and on the other side we've got a another control for indicators for lights and an engine start stop uh, button. Um, the problem here with the colours it's just to do with rendering on the screen when it renders out as part of the movie it will be perfect. And he's also got to the side here um, some uh, buttons to control lights and heated screens and wipers on the machine as well. Here's a wiper at the top and this will be a glass area so that can be kept nice and clean and he's got his little uh, toolbox in there as well at the back. So let's have a look at the other parts that I've been working on. Um, switch those on, on the wheels, on the machine itself. Now one of the things I'm going to have is the ability of this cab to move forward and you can see it does that on these rails. So the idea being when Professor Mac is uh, maneuvering the front of the um, machine here, um, to get a better view, it can move the whole of the cab forward into the forward position and then you can have a very clear view. Now this spreader as it's called at the end is for capturing shipping containers. And I can just show you by popping on shipping container. And here you can see um, the shipping container captured by the spreader. Now clearly it will be at a different height when I've got it all set up. Um, the, normally it will be, this arm will be up, up here and the container will be above ground at the moment. It's looking if it's underground but it's just the way I've set the models up. So what is this spreader? Well, it's made up of several components. It's pivoted uh, at the end of this arm, which will extend out. And then um, we've got a electric motor under here, which is able to then rotate this whole assembly to align it with a shipping container. We've got a box here, which can move left to right or along this track here, which allows you to adjust the positioning of the uh, spreader and then you've got these arms at the end of two independent arms which can independently move in and out of the box here. 
and that will all be animated eventually once I've uh, put in the next stages of the modeling. And what are those next stages? Well, what I'm going to do is to add an armature, um, which enables us to move the vehicle around, um, also rotate this arm up and also move the arm out and then manipulate the various parts of the spreader here in order to capture the shipping containers. Now one of the most important things is obviously the moving and manoeuvrability of the vehicle and to do that I need to have the wheels turning and also steering and that's what I'm doing just now I'm actually starting to work on this the steering let me just hide this and you can see so hanging off the back is the various um, elements of the uh, wheel attachment to the vehicle and um, there's a a, a hub here that holds the, 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 the wheel on to the vehicle and then you can steer. So there'll be an actuator coming out with a, a steering arm coming through here and I'm just about to work that onto the vehicle, model it up and then I'm going to do some modelling of the wheel rotations and the steering itself. Um, that's been quite tricky. I was having a look at some other work that someone else had done and I think I'm able to use that with some modifications to make it possible to steer the vehicle. So that's where we are with it. I'll um, update you when I start to get the um, armature into the vehicle so that you can actually see how it manoeuvres and how the various elements of it work. So until next time, all the best. Bye.